to Aaron's Chashki, and we're <laughs> here today with Anna Reyes, and Anna is a representative with Tori Bell Cosmetics. Um, I have known Anna, I mean, we're going into years now. Uh, the I know. Time, the time just flies, but when I first moved to um, Fort Lauderdale, I met Anna at a networking event, and, and we clicked, which I love, and Anna, I just... Anna is a lovely woman and I keep her in my tribe because, because she's lovely. She's totally my people. And she's just a champion for women. Like everything she does is to support women, to support women in business, to make women feel their best. Um, and she's helped me with clothes things. And the, the other magic thing about, sorry, I get so I get excited and I jump <laughs> So Anna has a magic power. I consider a magic power. And she's one of the women that she can just look at you and be like, oh yeah, you're a size six. <laughs> yeah. Get the small. And you're like, but I, uh, she's like, okay. And if you get the other one, you're going to call her. Say, I needed the other size that you told me I needed from the beginning. That's Anna's like super magic power. And she's been in the makeup industry for over 11 years. And with Tori Bell, she has, she's found the magic of Tori Bell and they do magnetic lashes. Yay. And so today's special treat is Anna is going to help me with lashes. I do have one on that I did myself, but she's going to show you, she's going to help me. Um, and I'm going to let you talk a little bit more about how you fell on Tori yeah. and uh, your excitement with us, what we're going to do today. Well, Miss Erin, thank you for having me on here. I would only do this at this ungodly hour for you <laughs> to get up in the morning, put on my makeup. I'm like, why am I doing this again <laughs> for Erin? So um, I love again that we met Eddie huge networking event because it was a big to do event and within that uncomfortable environment because it's always uncomfortable when you're in a, in a place where you don't know anybody Aaron and I made that connection and it was instant we connected we've connected people and it's just been a wonderful marriage as far as relationships are concerned and I adore you and you're just so welcoming and in every aspect of it I love everything about you and I love that she has also um, supported anything that I am doing and I, you know, vice versa. So it really works to connect people. Um, I have always been passionate about makeup. That is ultimately the thing that makes me excited. Um, very young, 12, 13 years old, I loved makeup. And, you know, I come from a very strict environment. My parents are Cuban and allegedly you couldn't wear makeup till you were 15 or 16 years old, but I was taking it to school and sticking it in my bag and putting it on. And so I was hiding from my mom wearing makeup. I never did anything bad. That was the baddest thing I did. When, yeah, and I said to my mom, hey, listen, let's just, let's just get past this because I'm gonna keep wearing makeup behind your back and it's worse so I love makeup and I, I just I see it and to me it's like candy I can't explain it and I got into the business of makeup because I see the transformation of a woman when I sit her in my seat and I do a makeover and they light up and they're so excited because it just takes a little bit to just make you feel confident and feel really good about yourself it's not vain, but it's just little things that make you happy. And so I love to give back in that sense. Love it. Love it. And during this pandemic, you know, I was obsessing over lashes. I know a lot of you would probably have that same problem. I am super allergic to glue. And I've tried the lashes and it literally, you too? Yeah, well, it's, I haven't used lashes enough to fully find out if I'm allergic, but it's also like, a me I make a mess out of it. I don't right. make a mess out of it, so I just don't deal with it. Exactly. And um, I tried like an extension once, I was gonna be on stage and it was like this big, big production and I put them on for Lauderdale. And when I got to Dallas, all my lashes ripped out. So I actually went on stage with zero lashes. I was the hottest mess ever. <laughs> so I was like, 
Well, yay to no lashes. It took me forever to grow them back. And so fast forward, pandemic, we're stuck in the house. And I'm like, it was like midnight, one o'clock in the morning, I'm on the computer. And I'm like obsessing with these magnetic lashes, magnetic lashes. And um, I actually ordered a, a set that took exactly nine weeks for it to show up. Oh, wow. It was, and they were horrible. But I had a girlfriend that was on Facebook with me. She's, you know, a, a good person that I knew, and she was loving the lashes. And there was a promotion going on to become an affiliate with Tori Bell. I said, listen, sign me up. What's the worst case scenario? I love, I want to try that. And I put them on, and it was like, oh, my gosh. And that's when I decided to share it with the entire world because all of us need these lashes. And they have all different types. So it's like wearing different shoes or different accessory. Today I wear uh, one lash that's called Ladies Night. So you can see the difference between one eye and another. Um, fun, easy to wear, and easy to take off. So, okay. yeah. so I, I did cheat. So initially when I talked about this, I said I wasn't even going to try them. And we we're just gonna do it live. And then my lashes came and I kind of couldn't wait because I really yep. wanted to play with them. So I, I have done it once for full disclosure. Today I put on one eye because you really don't want to sit here for a half hour while right. I try to put on eyeliner. So I did one eye. This is the nature bunny. It looks beautiful. And the other one I, I don't have one look, on. So look at the difference. It's unbelievable. And that's wow. just and these are actually um not that much longer than my no. natural lashes, but I also don't have to put on mascara. Exactly. Is adding the fullness and everything. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to put on the other eye. Anna's going to help. And the, I actually, I'm looking, I left my eyeliner in the bathroom. So, I'm gonna so you're going to have to run to the bathroom? To the bathroom. Okay. Get it. And so we're going to do that. And it takes two minutes for the liner to dry right. before you can put it on. And then Anna's going to give us a little contouring tutorial while that's yes. happening. And then we'll pop the lashes on and then we'll share chachis. So and while well, you're gone, I'll talk a little bit about the other products. How's that? Perfect. Okay. Done. So to take off the lashes, because that's important, not the lashes. The lashes, you just take it off, put it back in the box, and they're good for 30 times, which I think that's pretty awesome. But to take off the liner, which is a magnetic liner, you take, it's called Shake It Off. And this is an oil-free product. And that is how you take off your liner after you're done at the end of the day. Super important is to put back the lashes every night or every day back in the box. And they're super cute because it has like a little, and you leave them in there. And they will last 30 times if you take super good care of them. So, yay, she's back. I'm back. The bathroom's closed. So this is the liner, and I believe you have black, correct? I have gray. I have, you have gray. I love gray. They have gray, they have brown, and they have black. Um, I don't know if brown is back in stock, but I know that gray and black are. And I do want to share one amazing thing that they just launched. We are the first company, and they just launched it, to have the magnetic liner USA oh, and wow. that is a really really big deal um, I'm excited to be part of a, a, a company that has only been here a year and they exploded so yay yeah I love that okay, okay. You ready I'm ready <laughs> okay so I did all my makeup and so did Aaron I do want to say that for me for my comfort zone I do a liner I like a liquid liner. I use Dior, which is my favorite. It could be anything. And if you're a pencil person, I would do the pencil liner or your liquid liner before you do your magnetic liner. So you can see that I already have a liner and I bring it all the way in, okay? That's like a stencil for me. I feel like it gives me some sort of comfort and then this doesn't go everywhere and it doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's the most important thing. So what I wanna say is when you open it up, you can shake it a little bit inside, but you don't, when you pull it out, you do not clean the edge of the bottle. Just pull it out, okay? It's a really thin line. So let me see you, Miss Erin. Boom. Okay, so 
I think, and I'm going to go here, it's kind of weird for me to have to go here, but I want to show you that instead of starting at the end, you pull your eye out a little bit, and I say start right in the middle, and then pull it out. Then you go in to the edge of your eye. So really, technically, the three places that should have a good amount should be the beginning of your eyelid, right? Not too close to the edge the middle, and then the end. And I have droopy eyelids, so I also kind of do a little up action so that I can get the line or- It's not droopy, it's hooded. <laughs> it's hooded. <laughs> we don't see me in the makeup world. <laughs> that sounds horrific. I can't droopy eyes. <laughs> You would be a terrible makeup salesperson. <laughs> like, no salesperson. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm making you laugh. You know why I didn't I? Because I'm laughing and my eyeliner is going to be all good. Oh, you're so funny. Take a deep breath, woman. You can do this. Okay. So while she's doing that, you do one coat and you wait 30 seconds, both eyes. Then you go back and you do a second coat and that one has to wait tw two minutes. I was gonna say 20 minutes, we've been here for two hours, for two minutes and then you can put your lashes on. So let it sit for a minute and then I'll put the second coat while you're letting yours dry. Okay, again, just pull it out. Just shake it a little bit inside of the bottle, okay, like this. And just let it come out. You don't clean the edges of it. And again, it's a super, super thin. Okay, so you go in and most importantly, start like in the middle. And then go close to the edge and bring it again here. And I'm wearing black. And I want to say that the new formulation made in the USA will even be less invasive for anybody that might have super sensitive eyes. I've only had out of everybody that I've sold to, and I sold a lot of them, one person that told me that they were very sensitive to it. But that was one in a million. I am super sensitive, and I was very apprehensive to do it. And look, so you did a good job. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys see. We're just going to let it sit. So now you take it away and now where do we go from here? <laughs> okay, so let's do a little contour tutorial because by the time we do our little contour, this is going to be dry and then- Exactly, exactly. That was the hardest part. Awesome. That out so, just like, boom. So. Okay, so one of the biggest questions that I'm asked all the time is how do I contour, how do I contour, how do I contour? So it's going to be so simple. You see my eyes? I am using the exact same palette to contour, eyeshadow, and blush. It's the best invention. It's called Stark Naked, and it's part of the Tory Bell. And I want to show you the collection. Look how pretty it is. So these six colors will accomplish these eyes and the contour. So the brush is brushes are very important. This is an angle brush. These are Dior. Almost all my brushes are Dior. Okay, so this. So what I like, and I'm not going to go into the name, but I'm just going to show you the palette. So between this brown and this peach, okay, I'm going to go in, and it has a lot of pigmentation, so I have to be careful. So I'm going to start here, and what you're going to do is you're going to follow almost like your earlobe, okay? Are you ready, Erin? I'm ready, yep. Okay. And I have, I've done my little blush already, but I haven't done the contouring. Okay. I've so, got a slightly different brush from here. Right. Okay. So you're gonna go in and you're gonna do your temples and you're gonna go right in here. Yeah, you, you're gonna have to invest in an angle brush, Erin. Okay. And then you can even bring it into your jawline. So you see how already it's being contoured? 
That looks good. I like it. Did a good job. I'm gonna go to the other side. And you can do the fish face. I mean, it's fun. The more faces you make, the more fun you're <laughs> Listen, it's all good. Now, <clears throat> if you want to go really in depth, you're doing great. I love it. You did a good job. So I love this one. If you want to contour your nose and the tip of your nose, you take a little bit of the brown, okay? Or you can mix it together, make it easy. You can go in here and just kind of follow your nose line and then take a little bit, tip of your nose, a little bit right here. And you can follow up, go back in here again. There you go. Good job, Erin. Now you can take very lightly that middle color right there. I'm gonna take a little bit, and you already did blush, but if you, you know, I can go in and then write the apples on my cheeks, take these little two colors right here, and do some cheek, okay? And then highlighting is brilliant. Everybody looks very bronzy, very, very foo foo, right? I love highlighting. So you can take like, like these two colors. Because it's the little sparkle. It's the little I part. love sparkle. So on the, so you on take, the, on the parts that stick out, and you just, it makes you, yeah. Everything looks beautiful in pictures, in Zoom. Just your makeup looks very finished. I like the fan brush, okay? Take a little bit together. All right, and right here. You grab that, I have to grab my highlight stick. Okay, I'm on it, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> so one side, see, see how pretty that looks? Take a little bit more, take the other side. So I just did the top cheek, Miss Erin. Yeah, I just, I have a little kind of sparkle stick. Okay. Do a little cheekbone here. Okay. Here. Then you do a little bit right in here. I have this crazy blend right here. And a little bow of your lip here. Then I'll give you a little trick. You can either use your finger or you can use the brush. Take your ring finger and take a little bit of that sparkly and bring it right in. Oh, yeah, that's good. And while I have my brows in front of you guys, you have fabulous brows, and but everybody's not blessed with great brows. I love this kit. It's called The Works, and it really does give you a full brow. And, you know, she's got great brows, but some women struggle with the brows, and brows are really important. And then I want to show you the last trick that this kit does. Are you ready? So you're wearing your lip. I'm wearing like a nude lip. It's called seashell. You can take any of these sparkly colors and I'll take my ring finger again. And then I can basically put it right on my lip. See how it just kind of popped? It's insane, right? And then you can finish it. Go back with your nice big brush and just kind of blend it all in. And that's I got. I have, a, I have a squatty kabuki brush. Which there I you like. go. I love that kabuki. That's amazing. Yeah. Are we ready for the lash? So they come in this gorgeous box. They have some anchors, and the anchor she used to really, she's a pro. Look how gorgeous those are. Oh. So these are the date night lashes. So I'm wearing on, I don't know what eye you're. Nature, nature Bunny. Nature Bunny. This eye is my Nature Bunny. And these are the date nights that I'm wearing. Okay, so go for it first. I want to see you do it first. <laughs> I love it. This is how easy it is because she's not going to have to tell me. It's going to be that easy. Oops. Oh my God, they look so good. Oh my gosh. Look at the difference. Huge difference. Here I go. I'm wearing date night. Okay. okay so I'm going to go in. 
He did it better than I did. And I have a secret. I have a diamond in one. Oh, you got sparkle on yours. I did the blue. How easy was that to put on? And you can press it down if you want. Mm -hmm. And then they have these little tiny anchors, which are very handy. I yes. don't need it to yes. But they have a magnet kind of on the other side. And so if you get a little pop in the corner, yeah. you can just take the anchor and it attaches to the other lash and yep. natural lashes is just gently wedged in between but then it stays oh my i love that lash on you <gasps> it's nice with the date Gorgeous. even with my glasses which is this is the first time i put the date night ones on and so i just um, you look amazing I my ring light isn't reflecting in my glasses but no 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 you're doing good you're doing good yes with my glasses you can still see my lashes so they you love it <laughs> with a mask I have to wear a mask all day because I'm doing massage yeah. so I have a mask I love it I love it yeah. usually I mean us, our smiles are so much and I so know if we're wearing a mask and we can't smile you gotta smile with your eyes people so here we are you did great you so did it awesome. totally I love it cool. let's talk some tchotchkes Oh my gosh. <laughs> today, and I'm super excited because I never know what the tchotchke is. And hang with us till the end because we're going to circle back and um, talk about a give back. And Anna's got a special treat. So hang with us through tchotchke, please. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Anna, what's your tchotchke? Okay. This, I can't believe I'm going to share this. So uh, I am the oldest of three siblings. And um, <clears throat> I was born in New York. And, you know, New York is, you know, we lived in a small apartment. You know, I had very few, like, I, I guess we had friends, but it wasn't like a gazillion friends. When you live in an apartment, it's a little bit different. So I did a lot of talking to myself. I had all my imaginary friends. I did too. <laughs> yes. I totally, I wish my, I wish my mom was on. My dad watches secretly. I totally. Yeah. Do you get me? Totally. Totally. So being an only child for so many years, because my mom didn't have my sister till I was six. So that's a really long time to be an only child. So I did a lot of talking to myself and I had one particular um, animal, stuffed animal that that was like, he was my BFF. Like I loved him and he talked. So I shared it with my husband uh, not too long ago and I came into my office and there was this creature sitting in my chair, and it was him. So I'm going to share him right now. My best friend growing up. <laughs> Is he a Bugs Bunny? Yes. I love it. And I love it that you have him. This was my best friend growing up. This is who I would talk to and have these intense conversations with. <laughs> All your life dreams. Right here. Oh, this is the man. Him Bugs? What did you call him? Bugs Bunny. He was my Bugs Bunny. He was it. I loved him. And when I told my husband, I go, listen, being an only child kind of sucks sometimes, you know? And, and he put it on the on my office sofa. I lost my mind. It was like I couldn't stop laughing. That's so, so that's my Shosky. That's a big one. You moved. You moved from New York. You moved. I did. Like places and you brought bugs with you <laughs> so was there was there ever a, a challenge in moving bugs or is your family just always on board like bugs is the family that was a man <laughs> that was it i had a friend <laughs> so i'm gonna so my <laughs> so my, my imaginary friend my bugs was a spider-man Piggy bank. So it was oh. just the bust of Spider Man. Just the. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I told Spidey. Everything. Hey. See? And because it was a piggy bank, he couldn't come with us places. Oh. But I would go, like, we'd go to restaurants and I would get really annoyed and say, I'm like, Dad, you can't sit there because Spidey's sitting there. Like, can't you see him? Like, I went <laughs> over the top. I and, love it. But when we moved from New York, I'm also from New York. Yay! 
when we moved from New York to California, Spidey wasn't allowed to come with us. Oh my gosh, no way. So, well, and he was a bank and he was big and awkward. Got it. I fed him coins, so he was heavy and it was kind of a thing. So we we had to break up. Oh, that's yeah. tough. So I might like it fills my heart that you have uh, that's... And all your and all your <clears throat> yeah, my BFF. <laughs> He's in my office doing business with me. I love it. Right? Right? We're still having conversations today. A model for lashes. Hey, bring it on. I love it. That's awesome. So, ladies, I mean, well, I say ladies, but anybody. I mean, yeah. you have these lashes for any reason you want to. And so, first, if you want to follow Anna, because she has amazing tips for all kinds of fashion. And like I said, when we started, she just is a champion for women. And she's mm -hmm. got a great Facebook group with a bunch of lovely women, um, Anna's passion for fashion, and so much more. And there really is so much more. So if you wanna join her group, you can um, message me, you can find it, we'll, we'll get you hooked up, we'll get you in. And you can also follow her on Instagram, Anna underscore diva status. Yes. Yes, yes, and I'll post yes. in the group too, and I'll send it out in my blog. So if you're not following my blog, by the way, anybody follow my blog. <laughs> um, so the I'll let you tell a little bit about the actual give back in a little more detail. But if you want the give back, which is free for everybody, yes. because Anna's being that generous, there's no drawing, there's no for everybody. Drop the word lashes in the comments. Do it today. And we're going to hook you up. And then tell us what the giveaway is. Awesome. So because we're living in this virtual world, everything is Zoom, everything is um, what I have been doing, uh, rather than physically going to your home and doing a makeover, I'm going to do a, a virtual consultation and a virtual makeover. So what I suggest is that when I have that 30 minutes with you, have your brushes, have all your makeup, um, what your skincare regimen is, because I'm all about skincare, and, and uh, Aaron can tell you that I love skincare. And skincare is important to have that whole setup going on. And I will go through it with you. We'll do FaceTime or we'll do Zoom, and I will help you. I've had women that I've done it, and they've said, you changed my life. Like if my makeup is so much better, it's little tips that we can tweak and really just help each other out. So that'll be fun. Um, I can also help you if you want to extend it further, not within these 30 minutes, but I can help you with your fashion. Um, if you wanted to go into your closet and dig deep, I can help you with that too. But let's concentrate on the makeup for right now. <laughs> No, which is such an amazing offer because she spends that 30 minutes with you and it won't take you that long every day to do it. To yep. start the day feeling great. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, ladies. So anybody drop the word lashes. We'll get you hooked up. So Anna, thank you so much thank you. for waking up <laughs> with me this morning. <laughs> we had fun. That's fun. Always thank wonderful. you for having me. I'm super excited. You look beautiful. Thank you. And you as well. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Take care.